all right all right guys welcome back to another video guys i have a nice honey bun cake right here for you guys now this is a little time consuming baking this cake from scratch but i'm gonna jump right into this video and i'm gonna show you exactly how i get it done all right all right guys <laughs> you guys thought i was gonna bake this cake from scratch <laughs> I am not making no cake from scratch. This is box cake Kenneth in the house. I got me a nice Duncan Hines classic yellow cake mix right here. Some vanilla extract, cinnamon, cream cheese, light brown sugar, and some eggs. Alrighty guys, so I have my cream cheese inside of my bowl. And I'm just going to be using my little whisk for this. My cream cheese is... At room temperature, it was out all morning, so that was nice and soft. Didn't need to break up the hand mixer for this. So now I'm just going to get my eggs and my vanilla extract inside of here. And that was three large eggs, but I did end up adding another egg uh, off camera. And I'll have that exact recipe inside of the description of the video so i'm just going to get my eggs and my cream cheese well incorporated and it should look just like this then i'm coming in and adding a half cup of vegetable oil and i just want to get that mixed in as well Once I get that well mixed in, I'm going to come in and add my cake mix to this. You guys, if you want to do the uh, homemade yellow cake mix, I'll put that recipe in the description of the video also. But I didn't feel like doing anything homemade today. I just wanted a quick, easy dessert. So I just bought me a yellow cake mix. All right, so I'm going to just get that all mixed in. And if you want, you can also double this recipe also and then bake it in a 9 by 13 pan. But I'm just going to get that mixed in and then I'm going to bake this off in my uh, 8 by 8 pan. Alrighty, guys, so I had to show you guys this part also. I was making my cinnamon and brown sugar mixture but i didn't use cinnamon guys i used cumin <laughs> so i had to discard all of that brown sugar which was one cup of brown sugar i had to discard that and make me a new cinnamon and sugar mixture so now i'm just scooping this batter out inside of here it's going to make it much easier for me to evenly divide this all right now i'm just spreading that out i'm going to get that spread nice and evenly on the bottom and i just grease my pan with some uh butter you could spray it if you want All right, so now that I got that all even down, I'm going to come in with my cinnamon and sugar mixture. This is light brown sugar and cinnamon. Now you can mix as much or as little as this as you would like. I use one cup of light brown sugar, and I did not measure the cinnamon. You guys know I love cinnamon, so I didn't even measure it. Alright, so once I get that done, then I'll come in and put the rest of my cake batter on the top. And I like to put it in the corners first. And then I'll put some on the some in the middle. And it makes it a little bit more easier to kind of smooth it out. Now 
All right, so we'll just get the rest of that out of the bowl and put it in the middle. And then you could just start smoothing it out like that, just kind of bringing it together so that it touches each other. And once you get it to touch, then it'll make it much easier to go back and smooth it out. All right, so once I have that done, then you can see it's much easier to just come back, kind of smooth out the, excuse me, smooth out the edges. And then this is going to go in the oven 350 degrees for anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, but you definitely want to check it at about the 30 minute mark. Okay, guys, so while that's in the oven, I had to come and show you guys this look at my dinner for today. Nice pot of collard greens, some pigtails, neck bones. I know that's going to be good. Alrighty, and this is the cake out of the oven. It took us 35 minutes. That's perfectly golden brown, perfectly done. And I just let it cool down for 30 minutes before I put my glaze on. I didn't want to put my glaze on it while it was really, really hot. So I mixed my glaze, which was just two cups of powdered sugar, some uh, milk, and vanilla extract. You can use as little or as much glaze as you would like. So I just get my glaze on the top right here, and just smooth it out, and then I let it sit for about 30 minutes so that it could kind of set, which I really could have let it set a little bit longer as I was cutting it, but at least 30 minutes should be fine. All right, guys, so I'm going to let that set, and then I'm going to be back, plate it up, take my thumbnails, and my videos, and I'm going to give this honey bun cake a nice taste test. All right, all right, guys. I am coming in with a real quick taste test, guys. This is a honey bun cake. So, without further ado, I'm going to get a piece of this. That nice glaze. Mm -mm. That's so good, guys. That glaze is just uh, milk, powdered sugar, and vanilla extract. Mm. See that? Mm -mm. Alrighty. Alrighty, guys, that cake was super moist, super fluffy, and it has an absolutely wonderful taste. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Also, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, Cooking and Chilling with Kenny. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm going to watch my buddy Chef Jeffrey cook those beef short ribs. And I'm going to watch me a classic movie. And I'm out. Peace.